I've been a driving instructor for 19 years and uh, noticeably in the past at least 10, 12 years, maybe due to volume uh, of the traffic, whatever you call it, people have become very, very impatient. Please chase happened on the 19th of uh, November. We're going to be turning, uh, actually we are turning left from Scotchmore or Bradford onto Heaton Road near Test Centre. That's a quite a busy area we go to because there's a test centre there. We have to uh, pe get people familiar with it. And uh, the, this uh, gentleman in the 4x4 Silver Cherokee Jeep kept horning at us because we could we were waiting to go because the road was not clear. We must have taken about 30 seconds or a minute maybe. In that process, that time, he must have horned at me at least half a dozen times. And it was getting a lot of pressure on the, my pupil. My learner got overtaken on that uh, narrow road, very dangerously, cut us up, stopped in front of us, and that looked very uh, dangerous to me. I didn't know what was going to happen next, but we had enough gap to go into next street before it. So we turned left on that road, which is Heaton Park Drive again. And we, as we went on that road, we uh, thought that would be the end of the matter. But no, this gentleman, who was whoever he was, went around the full circle, nearly half a mile or a mile, and came back behind us from somewhere, another street. And before we got to the taller lane junction at the top to turn left, he parked the car behind us, four car lengths away, three, four car lengths away, and started running up to the car. So he was against, my people were very, very scared, and so was myself, and didn't know what was going to happen next. So I instructed my pupil when I saw the safe gap to go. So we went, so we left him then. Again, I thought that should be it. But no, a couple of minutes later, we got to the roundabout, and he was again behind us at a very high speed. At that point, I rang 999 for help. Now, this chase has lasted between eight and a half, nine minutes. And uh, I was on the phone throughout while my pupil was still driving, but steadily and slowly because we, I told him to because I didn't want to rush in case something happens. And we're coming to different traffic lights and roundabouts, and I thought, I hope we don't have to stop again in case of this madman who is behind the, this vehicle, a large vehicle, what he might do. In the, in the time that I was being chased, my pupil was absolutely shaking by the experience. He could not longer continue with this lesson either. I had to abandon that lesson at the time.